fall in Minneapolis in December usually spells freezing temps, and that is precisely the case outside these walls. But we are a comfortable 72 degrees inside U.S. Bank Stadium. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you look at this Vikings ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Final two-week stretch of the 2023 regular season, and we are underway week 17 here on this New Year's Eve. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they'll be led out by their veteran quarterback, the MVP of the league back in 2016. It's Matt Ryan. And I think if there's one quarterback in the league who sometimes gets taken for granted, to me it's Matt Ryan because I think throughout his career, he's been consistently excellent. Frequent member of the 4,000-yard club, savvy veteran, knows how to throw the deep ball and create big plays. And yes, he will beat you from the pocket. The numbers for Jones last week, 22 carries, 115 yards, and a touchdown. And the way they ran the ball last week has to bring a smile to the faces of the entire coaching staff because not only are they seeing a back pile up yardage, they're seeing an offensive line in sync, and that bodes well this late in the season. This one swung out here to Jones. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Third play here on this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Ryan. And that is incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Fielded at about the 28. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. So here are the Vikings set to go to work, and they're led by the leading passer in the NFC a season ago. Now in his 12th year, sixth as a Viking, Kirk Cousins. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. Second and 10. To throw his Cousins. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Cousins from the gun on third. And that will be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This is taken at the 23. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. And Jones going to have a Packers first down as he'll get this up to midfield. from midfield now. Here's Ryan. And this is incomplete. Well, these two teams, they met in Lambeau earlier in the season with the Packers winning that ball game. So if they can win here in Minnesota, they get a sweep of the season series. Again on second and ten, it's Ryan. 
Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 37. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Ryan. That's caught by the rookie, Jaden Reed. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 23. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Ryan. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Now a second and ten. Ryan towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Ryan will throw again. That is caught. And he's going to have a Packers first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Now Ryan. Over the middle here. It's hauled in by Watson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the three, second and a yard. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. Dillon will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Vikings offense making their way back out. Now let's give you a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. Pass the 20 for a short gain, second down. Now the rushing numbers for Stevenson from last week, 13 carries, 75 yards, and a touchdown. They put a lot of effort into game playing, establishing this ground game last week, and the reward was a nice day rushing the ball. Helped them put a balanced offense out on the field. And that carry is an indicator that this ground... Oh, he got on the carpet, a fumble, and the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the number. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. You look at this Packers defense. 
They find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top 10 defending the pass, number 12 in the league. And while teams don't like to talk about it, they're pretty proud of their rankings. But this ranking is going to be put to the test today because they're going up against a top five passing offense in this one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. Third and five. As they've got it as we resume action. Cousins now. He completes this into the hands of Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and eight. Cousins throw pulled in by Jefferson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and 10. Cousins throwing quickly out for Jefferson. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Sly able to put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Packers ready to take over offensively. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's... And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Packers. A.J. Dillon. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Taking it about the one. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. They trail now 14 to three, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Now Cousins, over the middle and complete to Addison. So the completion good for six yards, and it will bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 23-yard line. To throw, Cousins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Throwing his cousins. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Cousins again. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Cousins now from the 50. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get out. Well, always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. From the red zone now, Cousins. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. On second down, it's Stevenson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now Cousins. And it's caught. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Trying the power game with him. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. C.J. Hale, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Vikings have cut it back within a score. And they just powered it in right there, Charles. Three tight ends out on the field. The fullbacks for the defense, they knew what was coming. They knew, but they weren't able to stop them. They knew they had to meet them with a little bit of force. But on that play, the big guys up front won the day. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. Third down and six. Here's Ryan. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. The linebacker Jordan Hicks flying in there for the sack. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Vikings, they'll be set up well as they take over in great field position. First and 10. Cousins on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. Cousins to throw it. Finding Hawkinson here on the out route. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First down, here's Cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Second and a couple. To the air again, it's Cousins. And that is incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but 
let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 18. Cousins. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Here now, second and four. To throw is Cousins. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. From the gun, here's Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone. As the There's Addison. Touchdown, Vikings. A great effort there. With touchdown number eight on the year. And the Vikings will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. An extra point by Sly is up and good. And it's now 17-14. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. And how about that return as he's all the way inside the 20-yard line. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. They've got to go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now it's Ryan. To the left side, there's the tight end Musgrave. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Second and two, first down marker at the eight. Ryan. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field that brings up third down. Third and two, now Ryan. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. And his kick is good. And that will tie things at 17 all. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Aaron Rodgers, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, let's head to AT&T Stadium as we check out the Cowboys at home in Dallas. And they were winners in that game over the visiting Detroit Lions. Dak Prescott, strong in this one as his guys cap off the regular season at a remarkable 15-1. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And things didn't work out so well as they fall to the visiting New England Patriots. Ezekiel Elliott, a touchdown run in the victory. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. 
they're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. To the right side, this is Stevenson. To about the 35, second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback laying on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. And so many times we look at the opening drive in the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. you got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Now Ryan. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. The defender gets there, and it's a touchdown. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And they will take a seven-point lead now. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. From the 46, here's second down and one. Quick slant to Watson. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 30. They go play action now. Ryan. A complete once again to Watson. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Watson. 
Up the middle, Jones fights loose. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 57 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Ryan. Steps away to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. From the two now, second and goal. They'll look to run with Dillon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. A.J. Dillon taking it in from two yards out. And the Packers are an extra point away from evening this one up. What a game it's been for him in the backfield, Charles, as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time, and his blockers cleared all those lanes. Before the snap, they called for the heavy unit, right? Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that will tie us at 24. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. We got a brand new ball game, all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Up to the 20. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. They'll come up now third and three. Play action now. Cousins. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They run once more with Stevenson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Cousins now. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. So third down, but you got to think they'd like to get closer, even in a dome with good kicking conditions for a possible field goal. Now Cousins. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And that is no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty. And now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post. And this thing could be over. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. 
And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. Now it's Ryan. Man open here is Jones. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. An inside give to Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. I certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. On third down, here's Jones. going to take it in. Touchdown Packers. Aaron Jones 28 yards. And the Packers have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Cousins. Open man is born. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, Cousins. Complete, Jefferson to target. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring us to a third and four. Makes it third and four. To throw, Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Cousins. And that one too wide and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They'll throw again. Cousins. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 21. Here's Cousins. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. A bit of extra pressure now for this one on Joey Sly. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And that'll bring him back within four. 
So an interesting call there to take the three, but I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Second and eight coming from the 19. Ryan. Musgrave's got it out right. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. They go play action with Ryan. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Malik Harrison leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be taken down right around the 27th. Personal foul. Face man. Defense. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Now a handoff. Running left is Jones. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Ryan. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's a give to Jones running left. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. Ryan heads down to a knee, and that should wrap this one up. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your own crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity. 